What's up everybody, my name is Jason and welcome to Small Biz. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Mullen fiasco, the flash crash in micro mobility, reverse split in TRKA and why I'm actually a buyer of all three this morning and before today's show is over, I'm going to read out loud an excerpt from Lion Larry's lawsuit of more than 20 years ago and why he recently claimed that he's got the big guy on the bat phone. All that and more coming right up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much to our 300 and small change premium members that are with us. Today is day one of the new pricing structure, which I talked about all month. It's $2 a day, $60 a month, or save 17%, $600 a year, because starting next week, we're going to begin to roll out a, a number of features, not the least of which are a Discord group for you stock junkies. A Facebook, it's a Discord channel, excuse me, a Facebook group for those of you that have a small business or a side hustle, an invite only, especially in the beginning for the stock texting. And yes, as I did the other day, and wow, what about the views? 60 second videos where I talk about nothing but you, what you sell, your small business, and how everybody watching, thousands of them, can buy whatever it is that you sell. But I want to quickly state once again, if you're not a stock junkie, if you don't give a shit about making money in the markets or following me on Twitter, or if you don't have a side hustle or a small business that I can help you grow, then you're on the wrong channel and you're free to log off right now. But as I'm coming to you at the 1130 hour here just outside of Atlanta, we've got a bit of a choppy day, had a major sell program at the open, but right now the Dow is up 110 points. The S&P has added six tenths of 1%. The big thing or two that's jumping off the page before I get in to the meat of the argument, and you're not going to believe what Lion Larry recently claimed about the big guy. You know, the sniffer? Unreal. The VIX right now at 1597, and the US dollar is crashing down seven tenths of 1%. Those are both very bullish. So even though short term we are overbought, we are uh, tooling around, and I got to slow down this, folks. Once or twice a week, I'm going to do a 15 to 20 minute video. And even though watch times these days are only 40%, meaning you're going to log off after seven or eight minutes, I have to spend at least once or twice a week going through the week's events so that you can understand what the hell is going on, why we're buying what we're buying, why we're selling what we're selling, why I'm about ready to double or even triple my workload, and why you, yes, at least a handful of you are going to make some major fucking money and cruise with me along with rolling the dice in Vegas over the next few years if you're a premium member. So I would get one and never let it go. $2 a day, pay by the year, $600. It's no big deal. All right, look. The VIX at 15 and change and the U.S. dollar at 103.6 uh, are telling you risk on. Even though Bitcoin's been flopping around for the better part of the last month in and around 26 and change to as high as 28 and change, the market's telling you that the S&P is most likely going to hang on to this breakout around 4,200. And even though the short-term indicators, stochastics, MACD, et cetera, on the daily charts, especially with respect to the NVIDIAs, the Microsofts, the Metas of the world are overbought, the weekly and especially the monthly charts are screaming buys. And if you haven't seen me say it a million times on Twitter, follow me at Try Small Biz, the small cap stocks of which we trade many of them inside or in and around the IWM ETF, it's at a 40-year low relative to the S&P 500. What does that mean? It means small and micro-cap companies are massively underperforming the market. Seven stocks, Tesla, et cetera, are holding up the S&P. If you take out those seven, as of last night's close, the S&P is only up 1% in the last year. It's a very narrow market. That is dangerous. Do not be surprised if we sell off 3, 4, 5% heading into the 4th of July. However, when you look at the low VIX, when you look at the, the declining U.S. dollar, when you look at the productivity gains that are on the way, and I've started to talk about this on Twitter with respect to AI, this is, in my opinion, as big as when Al Gore invented the internet. 
You remember when he invented the internet? That was before he got caught uh, getting a rub and a tug at a fancy hotel in LA and the wife divorced him and he had to get rid of that 12,000 square foot house on Malibu Beach, right? He tells you and I to round it right around. That's all, folks. We don't edit around here. So if you're new, welcome. And I am drug free, just high on caffeine in life. I'm so excited about what's coming. You guys aren't going to believe what $2 a day get you as a premium member at trysmallbiz.com. But Al Gore invented the internet and then he got into a bunch of trouble but he tells you and i to ride around on our bike and as cheryl crow has repeatedly said wipe your ass with one sheet of toilet paper in an effort to fight climate change or wasn't it global warming oh that's right we figured out a way to rip everybody off whether it's hot or cold or somewhere in between it's all about the money you should know that and speaking of the money this debt ceiling deal where Kevin Milktoast McCarthy, I can't stand him. He is so weak. He is a beta male. He's a snowflake. He's terrible. And yeah, he's a Republican. So for all you Democrats that think I only take shots at the far left, wrong. If you're not standing up for Americans that love this country, that have a family and a God or a creator or whatever it is you decide to call it that they wish, then I got a problem with you. And I'm going to say whatever the fuck I have to say along with Elon Musk, even if it costs me money. And speaking of money, I've probably lost 175 premium members. That's about eight or nine grand a month because I speak my mind. But in a world that's about to be swallowed up by AI, you deserve to hear the truth. But the plus side, and I will talk about the ill effects on another video, is we're about to see productivity gains go through the roof. Folks, I shared a video, follow me at Try Small Biz on Twitter, where uh, I forget the name of it, I'll share it again. You basically tell this AI app what you want. You don't have to take a photo. You just say, give me a photo of a beautiful woman half naked on the beach rolling around with Jason sipping on a pina colada and boom, 10 seconds later, it looks like something that just came out of, uh... <laughs> yeah, I said that. And I'm sorry, Ma, jeez. She died, love her. She had a stroke 2015. Every time I get a little too naughty, like I've done once or twice today, eh, Jason, you're being rude and crude. Yeah, I hear you. We're going to make a fortune, folks. AI is going to get us down to three days a week in terms of work week. It's going to be Shangri-La for at least half of you that have a side hustle or a small business. But for the rest of you that are a block of ice, you're very IQ oriented. You're going to get replaced by a robot, an algorithm, or a machine. Simply put, you're fucked. But it's going to be my job through this Discord, through this Facebook, through some other things that we're working on that are absolutely amazing but won't be ready until the fall of this year. It's my job to make sure you make money, whether this market goes up, down, or sideways for the next 20 years. And it's my job to get you out in front of tens of thousands of people for $2 a day, get one and never let it go. All right, in terms of the stocks, and I appreciate it. Uh, if you're here, you'll notice going forward, I will not be talking about premium memberships very often. In fact, other than when I have to remind everybody, when they start saying, well, how do I get a 60 second video? I see that Tammy Murphy and Ryan, who owns Family Car Service, got 4,000 views and I hear they're making money. I'll have to remind you then, but it's gonna be a lot less than the begging and pleading I did for over a year at $1 a day. All right, last trade, MCOM 33, which I believe is the high of the day. That 17 print at the uh, low was a fake, but they did have a flash crash. It got down to 25 and changed 26. I shared a photo because we have a lot of people that seem to think I make up my trades, bullshit. Everything I do, take a picture, enter the trade, send the tweet. It's within milliseconds of each other. And how I'm going to do all that and text you, I'm not quite certain. But if you are a premium member, you're going to have an amazing opportunity to get real-time information so you don't have to follow me to the minute on Twitter. But again, pinned at the top, those red and green circles tells you exactly what I own, and we had a shitload of activity. All right, Mullins. 70.33, our 0 0.7033, low was around 68 where I bought some more. I bought some MCOM at 26.70, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> in both cases. We had a reverse split, one for 25 in Trica. I was loading up, holy shit. 
297. I got you in. Or if you're following me on Twitter at 252, right? I started buying it at 262, as low as 240 something. The average going all in, including some buys and what I just mentioned, was at $2.52, which reverse split adjusted is a dime. And a dime represents the all-time low, approximately nine and a half cents on TRKA. So why was I buying all three? And again, stick around. I'm going to read out loud an excerpt handwritten from what I understand to be prison with respect to Lion Larry. And we're going to talk about who he claims, among other things, to have on the bat phone now. Oh, yes. This guy ain't fucking around. We're at an all-time low again this morning. He's got a kick-ass barbecue, but that's just the beginning of what Lion Larry and his so-called $10 billion Saudi deal, which is an absolute fucking farce, is all about. But why did I load up on Trika, Mullen, and MCOM? Well, different reasons. Mullen and MCOM, new lows, massive dilution. You may have seen where I shared the tweet, and this was from a filing six months ago, that Mullen uh, had $20 million or thereabouts of warrants that were exercisable as of June 1st. So I'm willing to bet that part of this whoosh at the open, because I bought some yesterday at 7240.724 on Mullen, was uh, the warrant conversion taking place. If not all of it, some of it, because they've been waiting well over a year to get out of this tranche. So here's the deal. And the same thing with MCOM, Sal, who I've eviscerated. I think he tweeted eight times this morning. Whenever he's tweeting like that, he's just, it's just ding, 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 ding. The good news, however, although that he may have diluted, and I'm talking about MCOM by 4 million shares in the last week, I believe he's close, to, if not done, to ending the relationship with York, uh, Yorkville. Because he postponed, it was supposed to be yesterday, his Twitter spaces, which I will not be on. I am entertaining the idea of doing an interview. I understand he wants to come to Atlanta. And I invite him to bring the goons from Sicily. And it may be a fucking brawl because I will not put up with any of his lies or bullshit. You should know that by now, ladies and gentlemen. So I am entertaining the idea, Sal, if you are watching me, but I am going to rake your ass over the coals to force you to stop diluting every other day with Yorkville. And I hope you've lined up, or maybe even somebody like me could help you line up real institutional buyers that can buy 20,000, or excuse me, 20 million shares at a clip so you have enough working capital to last you 12 to 18 months. So the investor or the trader, whichever you are, and again, I was buying as low as 267 on MCOM and as low as 68 cents on Mullins this morning, but it's the same story in both cases. Massive dilution. They have to stop diluting and they have to start performing. And in the case of MCOM, they are in a sweet spot. And the name, as I've said before, micromobility, in my opinion, is an absolute home run. The problem is Sal is a total a-hole. And I actually think he knows this. Who's going to want to work with this guy? BRDS, Lime, two of their biggest competitors. Who's going to want to merge with a guy like that? My hope, actually, Sal, is that you get acquired. Now, your massive ego may not be willing to do that until you roll up a few uh, acquisitions in the micromobility space, but the name, and if you can get it scaled up to let's call it $50 million by the end of next year, is very attractive to a Birds, to a Lime, to a Tesla, to an Uber, to anybody else who wants to get in the micromobility space. So simply put, ladies and gentlemen, even though both CEOs are full of shit and both are absolutely positively diluting the living bejesus out of these stocks i keep buying one percent one and a half percent cash i think i put 11 percent, and i was all into trka which before i get to lion larry simply put i think i just said that again didn't i thanks for hanging with me well worth it we're only going to have one or two long videos a week I imagine 80% by July, August are going to be 60 seconds or less. So thank you for those of you that are sticking with me through these once or twice a week type videos. Trika, TRKA, last trade, uh, 297. Amazing. 
Most reverse splits, as many of you know, fall apart. They pushed it down to, I think, 244. I was buying in and around those levels. I think I tweeted a half a dozen times. I probably drove some of you nuts. Tough shit. If you can't handle 30 to 40 tweets a day, and if you don't want stock texting, as I said to open this 20-minute video, you're on the wrong channel. You're welcome to unfollow, cancel, delete. But again, if it's me, you invest that $2 a day and you do not lose track of your credit card. We had several people in the last six months that changed banks and they don't open the emails that I say, hey, you need to update your card because your payment is past due. And now they've lost it. And what you're going to hear next week is that we're capping premium memberships in large part because of the demand for the video that I'll have to do every two or three days, probably to no more than 350. So I started with this grand vision of a thousand. I knocked it down to 500. We're at 300 and change right now. I'm probably going to cap it at 350, maybe even 300. Because the amount of work I have to do on behalf of a few hundred families in this country is enormous. I tripled my workload, but I only raised the price to $2 a day. All right, Trica, growing at 5 to 10x year over year. The float has been skinny down to $16 million. They do have the right to issue, as the press release said yesterday, another 20 million shares. But unlike the prior two names that I focus on, the CEO of the company, in my opinion, is of a much higher caliber, and I'm talking about Sid. Yeah, he sneakily, or on the sneak, or on the QT, take your pick, issued a couple hundred million shares, or thereabouts in the last six months. Oh, it was only 140 million. Ah, go fuck yourself. For all you idiots out there that don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out, that are obsessed with tiny little numbers, they issued a shitload of stock, which drove it down from a dollar, or 99 cents to be exact, where it was yesterday, pre-split, at 12. But at 401, it jumped to 16 cents. And I happened to catch it. And I got out at point one five six nine. I put out a photo just to show you that I'm telling you the truth. Hopefully, some of you took uh, pulled the trigger. But for an hour and a half or so, it was 13 and a half to 14 and a quarter. You could have gotten out, yes. We have the wash rule, so I won't be able to legally write that off in terms of taxes because I bought it back inside of a month. But at two and a half dollars on TRKA, growing at 5x plus year over year with a float that's been reduced to 16 and can't go any higher than 32 million based on the current bylaws is a screaming buy. And let us not forget before we get to Lion Larry's lawsuit that he wrote by hand in prison unbelievable stuff <sighs> senior moment we don't edit around here i think i said that earlier too i'm 53 years old and while i look and i feel pretty pretty fucking fantastic and i'm beyond excited about what we have coming up for you guys and gals trka is a tremendous opportunity so at two and a half, let's call it a dime near an all-time low. You should have been all over it again last trade. Uh-oh, 307, holy shit. We're up what now, 25 or 30%? And no, I'm not selling at 307. Oh, you could have had 30% if you were following me in real time on Twitter. Some of you did. Congratulations. I'm not pulling the trigger. I think it's going significantly higher over the next few months. All right, Lion Larry. In closing, I have no idea how many minutes we're on. Again, this is only going to happen once or twice a week, folks. 80% of the time or close to it, I'm going to be uh, cruising through what needs to be said, including the promos, in 60 seconds or less. All right. <laughs> you can search on the Internet, and I want to say thank you to the gentleman that sent me this. Lion Larry, uh, hard and in charge, Mr. Mullins, issued a lawsuit or wrote a lawsuit in prison when he, I think it was 2000 or 01 when he went to jail for securities fraud, writing bad checks. And while he claims it was expunged, there is no official record that I've seen that that's even true. But he was in prison and he wrote, and I'm going to just read this out loud, but if this doesn't sound like an absolute loon, and before I say the words, let me just suffice it to say that I do believe that Lion Larry has a black box technology, and it does extend battery life to a certain degree. But most of us who are honest at this point, 
No, there's no fucking ten billion dollar Saudi deal. And between the Hollywood's been uh, wanting to do a movie on his life for five years in a book deal. But this just adds to the story. And I'll mention President Biden in just a second. Quote, VPD. I have no idea what that means. And this is in handwriting, ladies and gentlemen. You can find it on the Internet if you look real close or go into some of these chat rooms where it's all over the place. VPD refused to do anything and harassed me. And this is Lion Larry in prison. 20 plus years ago, and I did the right thing and went to the FBI, whom asked me to keep quiet and they would be prosecuting them, period. Next paragraph. Instead, the 9-11 event, so obviously it was 2001, later took presence, not precedent, presence over the matter. And I was forced to take a plea on the grounds I wouldn't be prosecuted nor have a record, and all the charges would be dropped against my mother, huh? Against my mother, whom had nothing to do with it. And it goes on, and it gets even more bizarre. And if you saw in his recent ramblings, well, two, three days ago now, he claims that Joe Biden is on the bat phone. Yes, he claims that he's been talking to the president of the United States, the skimmer of 10%, the sniffer of young children's hair, the worst fucking president, in case you haven't heard me a million times, in U.S. history, yes, Lion Larry, who looks like he has a pretty decent barbecue setup, claims that he has repeatedly had conversations with Joe Biden himself. And yet, if you go into any of the chat rooms, and I do not belong to stock twits which i do uh, check out occasionally in in discord and reddit etc there are i would say 40 percent, and it used to be a lot higher of people that believe that lh is telling the truth that he's the real deal that there's really a, a 500 dollars price target that's about to be realized no fucking way is that going to happen i brought i bought my average down to around a dollar 12 Follow me on Twitter. You'll see everything with tiny little increments. And I told you, stop buying at 118. I waited for it to drop 40%. And I started nibbling again yesterday at 72. I got some more today at 68. I'm in there as a bull because of Mullen. It's massively oversold. And if they'll just stop diluting and actually start delivering trucks and cars, etc., in July, August, in September, then we got something. And all I need it is for it to get over a dollar in small change, and I'm back to break even. But I do not believe a single fucking word other than maybe a tiny increment of what Lion Larry says. Folks, between being on a secret air, a military air force base to having drone projects to having the president on the bat phone to having a $10 billion deal to be flanked by uh, assassins that uh msb has over in saudi arabia but then change his story for the 15th fucking time and say well he doesn't really need to go over to saudi arabia because all he has to do is quote teach him how to use the technology and then before that in case i haven't already mentioned it he was wanting to divorce himself of mullins and keep the deal himself so look i strongly believe that larry is a decent guy from the standpoint that I don't believe he has malicious intent. But I do think, and I do believe, and there's plenty of evidence to back this up, that he's a psychopath. And I think it probably stems from the fact that he had a bad relationship with his mother, or I'm betting in this case, his father. And he is programmed subconsciously to lie like a motherfucker in order to gain acceptance. Look at his Facebook wall. He's been talking about the, the, the fucking Hollywood deal for years and years. Most of what comes out of his mouth turns out to be a lie that he has to backtrack. And I think it's an illness. It's a condition. It's a psychosis that he needs to say shit like this in order to feel accepted. And none of us, including yours truly right here, is perfect. We're all screwed up on some level of or another, but I would never put so many people's lives and, and retirements at risk by just blowing major smoke up your ass and mine 24-7, 365. So 
In conclusion, I'm buying all three across the board. In fact, I'm all the way in with no extra cash. Get yourself a premium membership at trysmallbiz.com. And always remember that I absolutely love you guys and gals. And thanks for watching. Can you believe it?